Oh, there they go. Can't see our main force anymore. I wonder when we'll get to set off. If we don't hurry, the enemy forces will be upon us. Your brain is as dense as your belly. It's our duty to hold those forces off. Huh? Oh, right. It is, isn't it? And not simply hold them off. Once we've bought the main force some distance, we'll retreat and do this all over again. So you're saying that all the way back to the castle? Yes. No one is going to play savior for us. No matter what trouble may befall us. If your fear has the best of you, then you can run ahead. Run ahead? And join the main force? Yeah, no one would blame you for doing so. Joining up with the main force would guarantee a safe return to the castle. What's the matter? Oh, it appears not even one will take the offer. Here they come! A fight it is, then. Let the stars grant us their divine protection. We are Caleb. We will not fail! Lady Marcherie? Lynx, what's the matter? I seek your permission to return to King Rob's side. Do as you will. You're in my father's service, after all. You plan to tell father of me, don't you? Yes. I will tell him that Lady Marcherie is going to Leonis of her own accord. I wonder, what's gotten into you? What? It is pointless to deny it, Lynx. Your true concern is Mont. It is nothing of the sort. No matter. It's not as if I don't understand how you feel, after all. <sighs> Alas, the journey will not be easy. The road is rife with danger. I understand the risk. Though I did not inform you, I was attacked on my way here. I believe they were soldiers of Fennis. Perhaps they are planning to separate me from father. But if so, they would try again. Yet you still wish to return to father's side? Leonis is our enemy. There is naught that will change my thoughts on this matter. That said, I do not wish to toil in a senseless battle. Besides, Mont put his own life at risk to protect you, Lady Mashuri, as well as Shitzelt. That is why I, too, wish to be honored. That is just like you, Lynx. Then let me ask one more thing of you. Whatever you wish, my lady. Tell Father that Shitzelt has done nothing wrong. <laughs> what is it? Is there nothing you wish to tell Mont? If he dies here like a dog, then that is all he will ever be. Understood, my lady. I will not fail you. Not once did I underestimate Calum, but... This will not be an easy fight. Survive, Mont. News from the battlefield, your majesty. Venice's first division, in pursuit of the enemy, has been completely annihilated. So it would seem our enemies fight in earnest as well. There's nothing to worry about. The fight's only just getting started. That is not all, your majesty. The enemy's main force has already begun its retreat. Then they are surely preparing to hole up inside the castle. In which case, Prince Stern will no doubt lead the rear guard. It is said his sword arm is rivaled only by King Elda himself, and yet the prince has never appeared in battle. He 
He must be too scared of me to step foot out on the battlefield. That would be fine if it were the case. However, King Elder must surely have some scheme in mind. Your Majesty, it is not Stern commanding the rear guard, but the leader of Kalem, a man called Mont. Prince Mont? The clawless cub of the Lion Twins? Yes, Your Majesty. So that swine Elder plans to keep Stern in reserve. If that is the case, then he has assured our victory! Solidus, move out! Strike down the enemy ranks and show no mercy! The enemy's second division is advancing! Do not falter! Engage the enemy! What's become of our main force? They are no longer visible to the naked eye from here. Then I'd say they've gained enough distance. Let's ready our retreat, but don't let your guard down. I'm counting on you, Lilith. Right. We're the rear guard. We'll hold our ground even as we turn our backs to the enemy. The time has come, huh? It seems we'll be confronting Horn's main force soon. Horn's main force? You mean Solidus? It would appear so. We could fight this battle head on hundreds of times without a single victory. But we shall fight as we withdraw. In other words, with our backs to the enemy. A fighting retreat? Can we really pull it off? We can. Or rather, we must. Well then, let's get started. Maintain your focus. You're a shinobi of Horn. Weren't you with Mashari? I am returning to King Rob. I see. Then I hope you get back safely. <sighs> what is it? If you die here like a dog, then that is all you will ever be. Was that... a message from Mashari? No. Lady Mashari was merely speaking to herself. Is that so? Thank you. Try not to die. It would really sadden Lady Mashari if aught were to happen to you. The same goes for you. Do you think anyone would shed a tear for me? I would. Lord Mont, we must hurry. I know. Let's get going. Mont, what on earth are you doing? I don't think I can tolerate waiting any longer. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here you are. You should return to the castle tower. The evening wind weakens the strongest amongst us. It's said that Mont is the Elder Prince of Leonis. Indeed he is. What of it? Are you not worried? Mont would cease being a prince should the kingdom fall. Is there not a trace of a filial bond between you? No father would wish for the safe return of his child. But alas, one cannot expect to fulfill his duty as guardian if he allows his heart to waver by dwelling on such things. His duty as a guardian? Whatever do you mean? It is none of your concern. Now, into the castle tower. After all, Mont's return to the castle is not guaranteed. <gasps> the castle! I can 
see the castle! At last. Almost time for a good long snooze. Don't lower your guard yet. I think we're safe since we made it this far, Lord Mont. Reinforcements could join us in short order. Is that truly the case? Am I missing something? If the King had that in mind, Forden would be at the ready. However... Not stirs in the castle. The silence is chilling. Sh surely the King's busy preparing the castle for a siege. So... Father said he has no intention of holding the castle in a siege. It won't be long now till the enemy forces surround the castle. With the preparations incomplete, the provisions inside the castle won't last long. So, our choices are... an honorable defeat, or our unconditional surrender. Hang on a second, everyone. After fighting desperately, we finally made it back to the castle. Even so, there's nothing but despair awaiting us. What's happening here? Is Father really planning on using Mashuri as a hostage to bargain with Horn? It's not totally unbelievable. I cannot let that happen! I refuse to. But there doesn't seem to be any other way. More soldiers from Venice! I see. So, if I want to get back to King Rob, I'll have to hack through them first. Hmm. There's no other choice. <laughs> Welcome to hell! Prepare yourselves! This bloodlust. Show yourselves! Perfect. I'll make you pay for destroying my village right here and now. <laughs> A remnant of Saiga, just as I thought. Thought I'd get the chance to meet you if I hung around with Finnis. Ryu! Unforgivable. For what you've done, I'll show no mercy! I know it was you. You're the lowlife who killed Lady Naya! Hmm. What of it? You're next. Then it's Masheri's turn. How daring of you to share such plans. <laughs> Not at all. Because this is the end of the line for you. No. I cannot die here. No matter what happens. Too bad. This is where you shrivel up and die in your regrets. Daybreak. Perhaps we should consider not walking through those gates as an option. What are you saying? You do not plan on returning to the castle? <sighs> Lilith, what do you mean? Please explain. I think... King Elda may not have a plan this time. But... You're right. I suspected the same thing. Uh, hold on a second here. If we're not going back to the castle, what exactly is our plan? We could always run. You're honestly suggesting that we just abandon the castle? Whether we take refuge inside the castle or not, we almost will fall sooner or later. But if Lord Mont survives, then the Leonis bloodline can live on. 
Our time is running out. The decision is yours, Lord Mont. As is my sword. <laughs> my prince, make a choice. M more enemies! We cannot delay any longer, father! Allow me to fight! I will not. Why? If I do not fight, Mont will... Must I repeat myself? <sighs> Stop, Stern! Do you intend to stand idly by and let my brother die? That depends on Mont. Must you be so merciless to those who do not share your ideals? Do not misunderstand me. My wish is for the Leonis bloodline to survive. I would gladly lay down my own life for that cause. Even so, I do not intend to show mercy to those who do not understand the worth of their blood. Are you... Are you saying that you want Brother to abandon the castle and flee? Is that... Mont? Fool. So he has chosen to return. left wide open. No reinforcements being marched out. I wonder what King Elda intends with all this. Maybe he's really eager for Lord Mont to go inside. But Lord Mont is... If you want to run, then run. I will not hold your decisions against you. Wait, are you telling us to flee? It is your best option. I cannot think of any other way. Hmm. Then allow me to do as I please. Allow me the same courtesy. <laughs> I am sorry. Thanks for everything. If only you had been placed under Stern's command instead, none of this would have happened. What is it? Why are you still here? <laughs> I wish you wouldn't underestimate us like that. Huh? We're Kalim, Lord Mont's sword and shield, are we not? We will be by your side, no matter where the road may take us. Let's show them what it means to be the pride of Leonis. I too serve only Lord Mont. All of you? No need to get emotional now. We've got soldiers to deal with. Mont. That flag. It's the flag of Horn's main force, Solidus. Mont. That all you got? I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. Was expecting to have a bit more fun with you. Such a pity. King Rob... must... hurry. Still got some life in you, huh? Not yet ready to die. <laughs> Well, what's the matter? Plead for your life. <sighs> huh. How boring. Already at your dying breaths. Let me put you out of your misery. <sighs> what? 
What's so funny? There's no one easier to defeat than a cocky little lowlife. But why you? What the? She went and jumped off the damn cliff. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. Cling to life, if that's how it is. Next time we meet, I'm going to make you beg for death. <laughs> <laughs>